Okay, so welcome back then. We've got 11 laps of action about to unfold in front of us here at the Auto Club Speedway. It's going to be a brilliant race. It will be DiMaggio that starts on pole alongside him, AZ Best. Daniel's elected just behind with Matrox in P4. We've got Mr. Jones in P5. And then the rest of the field eager to get themselves up with a total of 11, well, 12, 11 runners. As we have four red lights as well then. Now the tension starts to build. The blood starts firing away. A slow start there from Daniels. But he's got a much better start than DiMaggio. Starts to the inside. He can't make it 3-1. There surely already. Not for the lead. He thinks better at that one. And he had to be quite careful there. Now he's got cars going left, right and centre. It's been an appalling start unfortunately. DiMaggio though still P2. He's lost the lead in fact. To AC Best. He's got it back again going through the inside. And all these drivers do need to be so careful as they come down. They're all vying for the inside line into turn number two. DiMaggio is the one that takes it. Then the rest of the cars follow. There's a bit of contact there. But nothing major. DiMaggio went very wide. And he's bundled the rest of the field out there to the occasion. A bit of argy-bargy. And off in the very far distance goes our KO72. Started this race from ninth position. Oh, two cars off there. Mr. Jones and Matrox. And they already find themselves down the order. However, the top half of the field still fighting very difficultly right now as Daniels tries to get alongside AZ Best. It was never going to work through. There he goes to the outside. Best on the inside of DiMaggio. He's going to go for that one. DiMaggio, though, able to shut that door nice and early to stop the move from, well, being any more than that, really just an audacious attempt. Then they come towards the end of lap number one out of the 11. And it's been a good start there by John Daniels. To an extent, he's kept with the leaders. It hasn't been the easiest for him. But SC Jeremy has also had a tremendous start. So right at the back of the field there did SC Jeremy. So a great, great run by him now. We've got Exedian in P5 trying to keep these guys within uh, close tabs. We know how close they were when it was, uh, you know, the end of qualifying last time round. But to come across the line then to end lap number one. Start the second lap. Watch for the inside line now as well. We know how powerful that can be. A lot of cars trying to use a slingshot there. you got Daniels on DiMaggio. AZ Best pulling away a little bit now, in fact. Not too sure how much that's going to affect the racing overall. You can easily began downshifting so aggressively with that Renault turbo engine in there. Oh, and Daniels has spun a bit. He's kept it on. And I think DiMaggio acted as literally a rebound barrier. The car's dwarfing him left, right and centre now. Trying to get through. There's nothing he can do. He's utterly defenceless in that position. And as the cars scramble through, you can already see the amount of pressure that the leader's under. I mean, it really does feel like you've... You take a look at the rear wing from uh, what AZ Best can see at the moment. And he's not in an enviable position at all. Yes, he's in the lead of the race. But look at the amount of cars behind him. It's like a pack of hungry wolves trying to attack an innocent, uh, uh, I don't know, innocent bit of prey, if you will. But just look at them. It's relentless back there. The slightest error. And you go flying to the back of that pack quicker than you can say Renault Sport. And right now, Dimatrio is having to defend off Exedian quite well. I believe John Daniels has crashed a bit further behind, but now watch for Exedian. He's going to come across the start-finish line. You need to be careful, though. So it will be on the inside. He needs to be very aware. Exedian's there. And the Magico's trying to come back down underneath. Nice downshift in there though, so Xadia moves up into P2, it's been a good start for him so far. And then Matrox bringing the uh, Matrox train with him, we've got to see Jeremy right behind who wants a bit of the action I think you can see. Trying to go up the inside and already trying to make an impact here. As now the field come towards the uh
Old back straight. I always say the old back straight. What that really means is that it's the straight they used in the Evo race. But now they need to get themselves back onto the oval once again. And it has separated out quite a lot. But drivers in front, however, still looking relatively close together. AC Best has had the best, if you pardon the pun, of this session that's so far of anyone. That's easy to see. As they cross the line to start lap number four out of 11 is AZ Best from Exedian. The Magic OP3, Chris 007 in fourth. Fifth place is Mad Max 66. And sixth place will be Daniel C. Seventh Matrox 213. And look at Mr. Jones 83 as well. He's looking so, so strong right now. Oh, and Jeremy logs up into the corner, and he's going to... Whoa! And Mr. Jones barely able to escape there without any contact. And there goes Exedian, and they're coming down the same straight now. You can check, there's Chris007, Magico and Mad Max 66 Getting very close together, all going a bit sideways, Chris more so than any of the others. And now the magic out the inside of Chris, it's a late lunge, and I think Chris won't give him the satisfaction. And indeed he doesn't, Chris is able to keep control of that position for now. But at the end of lap number four, the shape and outline of this race have definitely changed a bit. AZ Best has lost a lot of time to our race lead, and now Exedian is all over the back of him. And the whole complexion of this event has just been turned on its head a little bit now. Oh, and Best with a bit of a moment there, and that's going to allow Exedian through, surely? Yes, it is. Exedian flies through. There's nothing, really, that Easy Best can do. Except for try and hang on for P2. This tiniest error at this circuit punishes you with the biggest of consequences. And now take a look at Mad Max as well. He's currently finds himself in a little bit of a sandwich there between Demagico and Matrox. And Demagico having made a Demagical pass a bit earlier on. He's now find himself in P4 to try and catch Chris. But back with our two leaders, Exedian still the man in control as AD Best. There's a little bit of a track warning there. He joined the able section a little bit too early. Those are officially over, just over halfway in this race right now. And just trying to see who's maybe in a position to overtake. I think Madrox could be the one. Opens up to the outside. He allows Mad Max to make the error himself. However, the error does not come of age. And though it does there, though, Madrox does go through and off in the background. That is Mr. Jones. And that is his race potentially over for this one. Daniels is going to go through in P11. So... Jones all the way down to the last one in the order and again, oh and it's, oh that's Arkeo again Arkeo from P8 he was already in the water a bit earlier on and unfortunately can't really get out of them at this stage and now just see what exactly 
must be going through Matt Troxy's mind right now. He does not want to attack so much that he makes a mistake. He does not want to defend so much. He loses all the chance and all the speed he has against the Magic Air. It's such a tricky predicament to be in that position. But right now, Exedian has lost Salini trying to come back at AZ Best as they rejoin the main straight. This is very key right now. They need to be so careful. They don't make contact and they're bump drafting at the moment. Very sensible. As Exedian's trying to go back through the inside. I can't see that worm working, unfortunately. Round the outside is going to be the only way. Sometimes the longer way is the more rewarding. But unfortunately, not this time. AZ Best has got that line covered with as many different defensive maneuvers as you can think of. Defender behind now. You've got a bit of an action pack battle going on for P3. That is Chris and Demagico still going at it quite hard there, in fact. Demagico goes a bit wide, and Matrox able to capitalize, comes back underneath once again. And reclaims that position in P4. P6 that is Mad Max 66. Seven there for Daniel C. So he's had a very nice job there so far. And Daniel almost lost the back end there, in fact. He's a little bit wary of that one. And take a look at SC Jeremy as well. And I like it's him battling away at the moment with John Daniels as they come down the straight. And Daniels moving to the inside. Jeremy went up high then. I wonder was I trying to let Daniels through or what? But by the way, John is all over Jeremy's rear end at the moment. He's got himself nicely tucked underneath on that number eight out of the 11 here today. Jeremy going wide. I think he's trying to allow him through without losing too much speed. Yeah, he breaks a lot earlier. And he's going to turn in a little bit earlier, I think, as well to combat it. Yes, he will. Our okay, carries out of the race, and Jeremy also there with a the big slide. The battle for fifth place also heating up between Mad Max and Demagico now. Demagico has lost a bit of ground. We look at the guys side by side there. That is AZ Best and Madrox. And what's happened to AZ Best? He was fighting for the lead a moment ago. What's happened here? That's been an appalling run, and Matrox is all over the back of him as they come down the straight. Matrox trying to obviously go from an Uber, I think. Up the inside he goes, and AZ Best has gone way too wide. He's a bit of a lag bump there, I think. He's already down to P6, so I'm not too sure what is going on there, but he's not got exactly the best impact at all. And now look at the Magico coming under pressure from Mad Max once again here. It's been a very intriguing battle so far. This time Max is going to go to the outside. I think he's going to be hung out to dry though, unfortunately. And he's going to try though. He's going to go all the way around. They're still side by side. And he's gone a bit deep though as Mad Max, but he should be able to. Oh, he's gone way too deep and... A bit of a cheeky nudge there from AZ Best as well. And he's really got to be careful. He's got two drivers right behind him. He would love a bit of the action. We've got a nice four-way barrier on that 9 out of 11. So approaching the penultimate lap. And we've got this kind of caliber battle. It's great to watch.
Right now though, Xadian rejoins the oval to start his penultimate lap here. So, 40 minutes, 40 seconds in, he starts lap number 10 of 11. He's 007 behind, Matrox third. Yes, see, Jeremy takes a bit of a bumpy run there. And unfortunately, that has not worked out for him at all. And the field separated out apart from the battle between uh, AZ and Dimagico. I think those guys right now are trying to just maybe sort themselves out. It's not worth risking for P4. In all honesty, you might as well just take P5 and be satisfied with that because, you know, to finish first, first you have to finish, as the saying goes. And right now, AZ Best can't really risk anything too major. Dimagico there taking a very bumpy run over the chicane, that's for sure. As AZ gets there, the closer Daniel C as well. So a nice three-way battle to end the race, I think, is going to be as our race leader starts his final lap, the 11, the out of the 11 here today. Going. So AZ best crosses the line, now you can see one lap to go then, so... These guys need to start trying to make progress now, sooner rather than later. The last thing they want to be doing is making all that hard work go to waste. And it would be such a terrible shame. We'll see what the guys can do into that chicane. They're getting so, so frisky back there right now. And Daniel trying to get alongside AZ Best, he goes to the inside, it's a late manoeuvre. And I think he's just about got it, yes he has a great run there by Daniel C. He's able to take the manoeuvre just a little bit. But let's see what AZ Best can come back, come back with really. About a minute or so left and AZ Best gets very squirmy. And you can see how hard he's pushing right now, he'll be kicking himself inside that cockpit. There's no other real battles on the circuit and it's all going to come down to these next few corners then and the run onto the tri-oval. Let's see what happens as Mad Max again bumps over those curves. He's really attacking them today. You can argue it really has kind of worked for him. But it's Exedian that takes a checkered flag. It's Exedian that wins. Chris will take second. Matrox third. The Magico is surely going to take P4 from Daniel. Our pole sitter manages P5, 7th for Mad Max. Daniels recovers to P8 after an unfortunate run there for him. Ninth place will be SC Jeremy. Then out of the race are Mr. Jones and RKO. And who would have predicted such a finish as well? Exedian, the man to take the checkered flag in the end. Massive congratulations there. And again, the winner was not from pole position. We've not seen a single win from pole position this weekend. So that trend continues. Let's see what happens in the final race of the evening then as we get ready for the final skill quant race in the sim race straight Sunday race off.